The following materials are needed for the soft slab method. A rolling pin, rolling board with slats, wrapped form, letter stamps, a triangle tool, hook tool, flexible rib tool, pen tool, damp sponge, dry sponge, plastic top, slip, popsicle stick, and spray bottle. If you're using two pounds of clay and a Pringles can as your form, a quarter sheet of newspaper will be enough to wrap it. Wrap the can firmly and even with the bottom edge. Tuck the excess into the can. Carefully place the slab on the rolling board and the slats equidistance apart over the slab. Be sure that the slats are secured against the plastic corners on the clips. Then double check that the slats are parallel so the slab will be rectangular. Press the slat down firmly and use it to guide the pen tool. Slice smoothly through the length of the slab on both sides. Place the triangle tool evenly against one of the freshly cut vertical sides. Cut a straight horizontal with as little waste clay as possible. Now check the length of your clay, making sure you will have enough of the rectangular part of your slab to wrap around your form with the edges overlapping. Adjust the triangle tool to cut the top horizontal edge. Waste clay should be balled and wrapped to use for the base. Keep the slab covered while you make your base. Ball and wedge your excess clay. Press it on the board between the slats, roll both sides, rotate, and flip the slab. Flatten the plastic bag and wrap the base, eliminating as much air as possible. Carefully spray both sides of the slab. This will ensure that the slab will stay plastic so it can wrap around your form the next day. Flatten the plastic bag and wrap the slab to eliminate as much air as possible. Carefully set your base and extra clay supply on the tray as seen here. Handle the plastic slab very carefully as not to misshape it. Smooth away any imperfections. Align the form with the horizontal edge closest to you and the vertical edge close to the end of the form. Wrap firmly to prevent space between the form and the clay, but be careful not to dent the clay with your fingers or thumbs. Gently tug the top horizontal edge over the bottom for a snug fit, but be careful not to stretch or tear the slab. You will cut where one horizontal edge overlaps the other. Hold the slab clad against the form while slicing a vertical incision into the overlap of the slab. Carefully remove the excess from above and underneath. To ensure a secure seam, both edges need to be scored. Then apply slip along one edge. Repeatedly work your way from bottom to top, gently but firmly, guiding both edges of clay together into a rough seam. Once 
Wipe away excess slip with a dry sponge. Smooth the seam with your finger. You can then use a flexible rib tool to flatten the seam so it's consistent with the rest of the cylinder. To ensure a correctly sized base, trace the wrapped form onto the base slab. Then carefully cut the base free. Save and wrap your waste clay. Use your finger and a slightly damp sponge to clean and smooth your base. Stamp your initials and flip the base over. Apply a thin score trail around the outer edge of the base and one side of the cylindrical slab. To free the cylinder from the form, first unwrap the newspaper from the inside of the can. Then gently pull the can from the newspaper. If there is resistance, have a friend pull the can free while you hold the slab firmly but gently. Gently crumble the newspaper and pull it free from the cylinder. Apply slip to the base. Carefully join the scored side of the cylinder to the base. You may need to adjust the cylinder to find the best fit. Press down firmly, but be careful not to crush or dent the form. Use a plastic top to rotate your vessel while joining and then blending the cylinder to the base. Use a hook tool to join the seam on the interior of the cylinder and to clean clay debris from the bottom. Important that the interior be as clean and smooth as possible. Finish by smoothing the rim of the vessel and then check the exterior for any imperfections that you can smooth. Before storing, be sure that your rim is circular. Any area that needs to remain plastic because you plan to slip and score to add sculptural pieces should be sprayed with water and then covered with clinging plastic before wrapping. When covering the vessel to store, allow a little air into the bag. At this point, you want the vessel to dry to a leather hard stage. A leather hard stage will be easier to work with and perfect for carving details.